देखिए बात यह है आप भी पूछ रहे हैं और बहुत सारे दूसरे लोग भी हमसे पूछना और जानना चाह रहे हैं That how did Swami Shri Avi Mukteshwar Anand Saraswati Ji become a rage on social media? Who is Avi Mukteshwar Anand Saraswati Ji? तो धर्म के बयान को आप नहीं बढ़ाते हो, राजनीति वाले बयान को आप बढ़ा रहे हो, दोषी कौन है बताओ? हम क्या? Why is Avi Mukteshwar Anand Saraswati also called the Jyotir Math Shankaracharya? Who is the Shankaracharya? What is Jyotir Math? If the answers to these questions interest you, stay with me till the end because I'm about to unpack a side of India, ancient and important, that many of us living in urban centers, some of us in deracinated settings even, seldom get to hear or see. I'm Manisha Dikari and you're watching First Things Fast. आज भी हम लोग जो वर्तमान सरकार है उसके लिए आशीर्वाद की भावना रख रहे हैं और चाहते हैं कि उनको यह श्रेय मिले कि उन्होंने भारत से गौ हत्या का कलंक मिटा करके रख दिया and accepted a mala from him. That brief meeting with Prime Minister Modi happened at the wedding of Anand Ambani in Mumbai recently. It was a bit of a headline moment because Swami Shri Avi Mukteswaran and Saraswati Ji has not been shy of criticizing the central government or the PM himself on a range of issues. One of his most memorable criticisms of the Prime Minister and probably the first time he hit the national headlines also was when he held the consecration of Ram Temple as violating the norms mentioned in Hindu scriptures. So, when the Ang is a temple and now the Ang is not coming, then how will it be done? His main objection, and I'm sure many of you will know this, was that the temple's construction was not complete and hence the consecration was against what the Shastras dictate. In January, a News Tak reporter asked him how he feels about being called anti-Modi. His reply, तो जो लोग हमको एंटी मोदी कह रहे हैं वो एंटी मोदी हैं कैसे ऐसे कि हम कह रहे हैं कि मोदी जो है उनको उनका पतन नहीं होना चाहिए इतने ऊंचे पद पर वो चले गए हैं और थोड़ा हिम्मती आदमी है हमको हिम्मत वाला आदमी अच्छा लगता है तो मोदी हमको उस मामले में पसंद आते हैं अब क्या हो रहा है कि उनके हाथ से गलत काम करवाए जा रहे हैं जैसे काशी में मंदिर तोड़वाए गए तो हमने कहा कि गलत हो रहा है अयोध्या में प्रतिष्ठा करवाई जा रही है बिना मंदिर बने हम कह रहे हैं कि ये गलत हो रहा है क्यों कह रहे हैं कि ऐसा व्यक्ति ऐसे हिम्मति लोग बहुत मुश्किल से पैदा होते हैं और ऊपर तक जा पाते हैं तो अब वो चला गया अब उसको बनाए रखना बहुत आवश्यक है लेटर इन 2024 ही हिट द हेडलाइंस इमीडिएटली आफ्टर द अंबानी वेडिंग अपीयरेंस दिस टाइम फॉर मीटिंग उद्धव ठाकरे वन ऑफ द की ऑपोजिशन लीडर्स ऑफ महाराष्ट्र Where state elections are due in a few months. Jyotirmat ke Shankaracharya Swami Avimukteshwar Anand ne Matoshri me Uddhav Thakre se mulaqat kiya aur pure Thakre parivar ko aashirwad diya hai. He had no compunctions in backing Thakre to the hilt. हमने उनसे ये कहा है कि हम सबके मन में इस बात की पीड़ा है कि आपके साथ विश्वास घात हुआ जब तक महाराष्ट्र के मुख्यमंत्री की कुर्सी पर आप राजमान नहीं हो जाते तब तक हम लोगों के मन का ये जो दर्द है पीड़ा है ये दूर नहीं हो सकती है. Now, if that remark painted Thakre as an underdog, he also refused to be drawn into BJP's attacks on Rahul Gandhi after his first speech in Lok Sabha as the leader of the opposition. ये राहुल गांधी हों, चाहे नरेंद्र मोदी, माने दोनों की पार्टियां हों, दोनों जिसका नेतृत्व कर रहे हैं। असल में इसमें से कौन हिंदू हितैषी है? ये निकालने की जरूरत है, और हम समझते हैं कि इनमें से अगर कोई हिंदू हितैषी होता, तो गौ रक्षा की बात सबसे पहले करता He makes corruption allegations against the high and mighty. 228 किलो सोना केदारनाथ से गायब कर दिया गया। ये कहाँ का नियम है? क्यों नहीं उठाते हो प्रेस वाले इस बात को? He even mentions the prime minister's name in some of his tirades. मोदी के नामांकन में खुद 22 गलतियाँ थीं, लेकिन उन 22 गलतियों को चुनाव आयोग ने नजर अंदाज कर दिया, और वो महात्मा जी का कोई गलती नहीं थी। फिर भी उनका नामांकन दर्ज कर दिया गया तो हमने गुस्सा दिखाया। Now if you wondered what gives the Shankaracharya Avimukti Shwaranand Saraswati so much agency. So much media coverage, and the usual defenders of the government appear to be silent to his criticisms. And you're sitting there sipping your cafe latte, wondering what the hell is happening. Let me start from the beginning.
once upon a time. Actually, the fifth day of the waxing moon in April May 788 common era, which is the 8th century. Now, that is according to Pavan Verma, who wrote this book. And so on that day, a child was born in a small village not too far from modern day Kochi. Before he turned three, he had memorized the Vedas. He had what is also called Ekashruti Dhara, which means he only had to hear a text once to memorize it. The prodigious child began showing inclinations of renouncing material life, but his mother did not want him to live his life alone. She had hopes of watching him get married one day, having children and taking care of her, especially since her husband had died early. But the young boy was adamant. One day he was in the river bathing when a crocodile is said to have caught his leg. So he decided to use the situation to his advantage. He called out to his mom saying, Mother, you must save me, but this crocodile won't let go of me until you allow me to be a sannyasi. What would the mom do, right? She reluctantly agreed and the crocodile is said to have disappeared. Even today, there is a crocodile heart near the boy's home and that event is marked by an annual festival. Oh, India, so full of wonders, right? Anyway, uh, this boy's name was Shankara and he would go on to become Jagat Guru Bhagwad Adi Shankaracharya. Adi Shankaracharya was a philosopher and theologian best known as the leading proponent of the Advaita Vedanta school of philosophy. His doctrines have significantly influenced modern Indian thought. He wrote extensive commentaries on the Brahma Sutra, the principal Upanishads and the Bhagavad Gita. Shankara believed in a single, eternal, unchanging reality also known as Brahman and the illusion of plurality and differentiation. He also established four monastic centers or Mats, Jyotir Peet in Badrinath in the north, Sharda Peet in Dwarka, the west, uh, Govardhan Peet in Puri in the east, and Sringeri Sharda Peetam in Chikmagaluru district, Karnataka in southern India. Now these Mathas came to be the keepers of the Hindu faith and traditions. A Shankaracharya is a title given to the head of one of these four cardinal Peetams established by Adi Shankaracharya. These leaders are responsible for guiding and overseeing the religious and spiritual activities within the respective regions, ensuring the adherence to the teachings of Advaita Vedanta. For many, they are the last word on all matters concerning the practice of Hindu religion. The title of Shankaracharya itself signifies a spiritual successor to Adi Shankara. So now you understand why someone of Prime Minister's stature would walk to a Shankaracharya as he remains seated and would seek his blessings, right? Okay, great. But who is uh, Swami Sri Avimukteswaranand Saraswati Ji, the person? Swami Avimukteswaranand was born in Pratapgarh, Uttar Pradesh. He was a disciple of Jagadguru Shankaracharya Swami Swarupanand Saraswati. His original name is Uma Shankar. After completing his primary education in Pratapgarh, Uma Shankar moved to Gujarat, where he apparently became the disciple of Swami Karpatriji Maharaj. Now, this is also where he began his Sanskrit education. Now, this, this story is interesting. Karpatri Maharaj was a revered sannyasi from the Dashanami monastic tradition. Karpatri Maharaj also led the Akhil Bharatiya Ram Rajya party that had fought 31 seats across 10 states in India's very first general election in 1951-52. Uh, he was said to be close to Indira Gandhi in later years as well. But in 1966, Karpatri Maharaj was leading an agitation to get the government to ban cow slaughter when a group of Hindu monks were shot dead in front of India's parliament apparently. Many right-wing accounts and reports in the Hindi press talk about Karpatri Maharaj having cursed Indira Gandhi on that day. They link this curse to her eventual assassination in 1984. I told you this story just so you know the universe of leaders and agitations that Avi Mukteswaranand comes from. Now, after Gujarat, Uma Shankar had moved to Banaras where he met and received the blessings from Puri Pitadeshwar Swami Niranjan Dev Tirth and Jyotish Pitadeshwar Swami Sarupanand Saraswati. Upon initiation, his name was changed to Brahmachari Anand Swarup. Now, later in Banaras, Shankaracharya Swami Sarupanand Saraswati bestowed upon him the Dandi initiation and he became known as the Dandi Swami Avi Mukteswaranand. He then began managing the Jyotish Peet as the representative of the Shankaracharya at Badrikashram in Uttarakhand. And after the death of Swami Sarupanand Saraswati in September 2022, he assumed charge as the Shankaracharya there. Shankaracharya Sarupanand Saraswati ke nidhan ke baad unke uttaradhikari ka elan kar kya gaya hai. Swami Avi Mukteshwar Anand ko Jyotish Peet Badrinath aur Swami Sadanand ko Dwarka Sharda Peet ka pramukh khoshit kya gaya hai. But in October 2022, which is a month after the death of his predecessor, the Supreme Court stopped his coronation as the new Shankaracharya of the Jyotish Peet after the government's lawyer, Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, informed the bench that the Shankaracharya of Govardhan Mutt in Puri 
had filed an affidavit that the appointment of Avi Mukteswaranand as the new Shankaracharya of the Jyotish Peet has not been endorsed. We are sannyasi, we should not give political opinion. It is absolutely right, it is absolutely right. We are in this Siddhant. लेकिन पॉलिटिकल वाले को भी तो धर्म के मामले में नहीं करना चाहिए आगे बढ़ना चाहिए इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो इन्फॉर्मेटिव प्लीज लाइक कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर अपडेट्स थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग फर्स्ट थिंग्स फास्ट